All right, guys. So this video that you're getting ready to see was shot probably about four years ago, at least. And it was talking about lease operating and can you do it? And it's me telling you guys about it because I was a lease operator. I did it. So you can do it. So I hope you enjoy. I hope you find this uh, information um, informative and it helps you at some point or gives you an idea of what it was like when I did it. And um, I'm going to leave y'all to it. Peace out. with you so it's your boy Q no, I'm just tired out here in Newark New Jersey man doing a reset get ready to head into Boston um, drop a load off so wanted to touch base and get back with you guys on leasing and my lease purchase option I am still leasing and I'm still with advance and I'm happy with them um, I finally got my first week settlement and after I cleared everything um, after I cleared everything fuel tolls the whole work um, truck payment everything all my fees my truck did 5100 and I took home 2200 yes take home I'll show you guys that mine doesn't come up on the Qualcomm it comes up on the phone so I'm gonna have to use another phone or get a laptop or something you know I'm new to this YouTube thing I haven't figured out how to post the stuff in the video yet I haven't got that technical how these guys edit and do that stuff. And like I said, mine doesn't come up on a Qualcomm. They actually email it to me. And I'll show you guys that. Um, I'm not going to sugarcoat. I ain't got no reason lying. It's a person. The reason I'm doing this is because when I was looking, it was kind of hard to, to see like gritty stuff about leasing. And I'm not lease purchase for those who don't, who don't know. I'm not looking to buy this truck, which is another reason I'm doing this video because I see a lot of guys talking about buy your own truck, own your own truck, which is very good advice. But like I said in the beginning, everybody doesn't have twenty, thirty thousand to start out with to buy a truck. You know, with that being said, this is why I chose to lease my truck. I have some money that I can use to put towards a truck but I'd rather not use that money. I'd rather keep saving that money for my maintenance because I know that I'm going to get my truck. And also I want to keep money in some backbone just to live off of. The key what it is, if you're going to lease, don't get caught up in leasing. You lease, make that money. If you can get any good lease where you're not paying an arm and a leg, you know, and you're not making any money, to get ahead my my goal is to lease stack buy the truck get out the lease and i'm going to go right back and lease on to advance because advances has been that good to me so once i stack up enough money i'm going to buy my own truck and lease back on to advance um and i'll get a higher percent also, once I become an owner uh, I, with my own truck. So now I'm at 77%. I get my own truck, I think it goes up to 84%. So, yes, um, with that being said, um, yeah. And I, I just wanted to touch that and get that out the way because a lot of guys, like I said, is like, 
you know, own your own truck. And, and even Ghost did a video on that, which was really great advice about the own, whole ownership. But everybody can't start that way. You know, my thing is, it's okay if you want to be a company driver and start out like that. But be a company driver, make, and make some money if you can and put your money to the side and um, get you a truck. Me, I did the company thing for two companies. I only put, I only maybe put six months in to being a company driver. No, not even, I'm lying. I might've put four months into being a company driver. And um, I don't know, it was four to six months, I, I can't remember. But I did four to six months of company driving and I was like, okay, I'm going lease, you know? And that was the choice I made and it works. Um, so I knew that I wasn't a company guy. I, I mean, I was always an entrepreneur to begin with before I got in the truck and I was into automotive business, um, which is a whole nother story. And I'll do a video on me about that if you guys really wanna hear about my story. But nobody wanna hear about my story, I'm not that exciting <laughs> but yeah so that's what I did you know and I'm glad that I did because it worked for me um, I'm not going to say you know everything works for everybody because um, everything don't everything doesn't work for everybody but you can make it with a good lease option I'm finding out that lease to lease for me works better than leasing to try and buy a truck because it seems like when you're trying to buy the truck the companies are like you know you're stuck with them for you're so long trying to buy the truck and it, it kind of it's almost the truck is the trap at the same time because you're working to try and buy that truck when you're leasing the way that I'm leasing, I feel like it's like if I walk away, the money I made, I walk away with, but it still got me that money. And, it, and a lot of times it, get, it gets you that money sooner, you know? So that's the thing. I, I didn't want to be like, all right, well, especially if you start leasing with a company and then you find out that you really don't like the company now, you got to leave and start over. And it's like, damn, I done put this money this payments into this truck and I'm walking away from it you know so that's kind of why I'm like I didn't want to do a lease purchase right off the bat because what was the chances I don't know if I was going to stay with the company you can look online and see what everybody says about different companies and say oh well I lease from this company it worked out I lease from that company it worked out or I didn't lease from this company it didn't work out so I said no I'm 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 better off going and lease straight stack my money and if i want to leave i'm taking my money because i wasn't working for that truck that i was in i was working in for making money for the truck that i want to get just made sense um and you just kind of got to understand the operations of business and how business work in that terms of where you're going you know where you're putting your effort to so with that, that's my take on on that. You know, I, I kind of strayed off a little bit because I started to make, you know, an update video on my leasing. Um, I started in July with this company and here it is, um, I think the 27th of July going into next month. And like I said, um, they've been good. Um, so far they've done everything they said and I'm, I'm making the money that they said that I would make and that's rare especially when you're leasing like I said I was my first two weeks I, I wasn't getting four weeks but it wasn't company it was you know I started a week of the 4th of July literally the day before and then the rest of the couple of days later it was the weekend so I only had two loads so my first check sucked I didn't and however even though it sucked I wasn't negative. I didn't owe anything. I did two loads and still made enough to clear the payment and maybe take home about 400 bucks, but I only worked two days, you know, technically with two different loads. And my loads were, were high paying loads, which 
was phenomenal. Same thing happened the following week. I had to end up going home, so I worked like two or three days again. So that next check sucked. But that third check, boy, look at here. When I, when I hit that 5100, and I see that deposit of two, two Gs. It was actually 2200, but I messed up and put fuel in when I shouldn't have put fuel in and it, it went on my next, on that settlement. That's a whole nother thing. So I kind of threw $200 away, but I still deposited that two stacks. So, you know, moving forward after that, everything has been good and it still have been a learning curve. So I'm almost at my nine minute threshold, guys. Um, I mean, 10 minute threshold. I just wanted to share that while I was sitting here waiting out in uh, New Jersey. And um, I'll keep you guys updated. Peace. Later.